Morning guys, um, welcome again. Uh, this is, uh, my name is Pablo, I'm from the Vera Projects. And uh, I, wanna, I wanna go ahead and create an outdoor sofa and an act outdoor sectional. So basically I'm gonna be building uh, two outdoor sofas and a sectional and make it a complete U, right? And the instructions that I have here today are by Anna White. Um, she's very well known in the DIY space. And you see here she includes uh, all the directions, all the screws, all the materials that you would need in order for you to put that together uh, overall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the meter saw to start out with and obviously, you know, your number one tool, your, you know, uh, measuring tape, right? And as you see below is you can see the two by fours that I purchased. I have 30 of these because it's going to give me enough two by fours to be able to build those outdoor sofas and that sectional okay so what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to go ahead and pre-cut all this wood and then i'm going to come back and show you how to put it together after all the pre-cut is done all right i'm going to include the instructions and the anna white pdfs on my video below for you guys to go ahead and review it and download it and be able to do it yourself okay Hi everybody, so I'm back and I uh, had a chance to go ahead and uh, cut the length of wood that I needed in order to get the project done. Uh, as you can see here, they're uh, six foot boards by the 25 and a half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and frame it really quick. And then show you the framing and then how we brad nail it. Alright, so this is what I mean by framing it. Basically, you're gonna put the two end pieces, you're gonna brad nail those in first, and then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna measure 17 and a half from the outside, right? And you're gonna put in that other piece right on that, right? So 17 and a half, boom. And then I'm gonna do this side. Might be a little bit tight if you already brad nail the ends, but it's all right. You want it tight as much as possible. Okay. And then you're gonna do seven and a half, 17 and a half from there. And place that one as well here. That 17 and a half from there, and boom. Right nail in the middle just to hold them in place. I love using this. It's one of my favorite tools to brad nail. Then I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce it with actual screws, two and a half inches, self-driven screws to make sure that it's solid. When someone sits on there, it doesn't fall apart. So that's the, how to build that bottom frame of that cow. All right, so I'm back. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the armrest of the couch, right? And as you see here, you have the left and the right. You can be vice versa, whichever way you want to do it. Uh, we're going to brad nail these as well, just so it stays tight. And then afterwards, like I said before, we're going to go ahead and uh, do the two and a half inch self-driven wooden screws that I can show you later what they look like. And once again, these instructions are going to be added uh, right below the video. Um, you know, I want to give credit to Anna White for these great instructions that she provided in order to build this sofa outside. And um, We'll go from there. So let me go ahead and start brad nailing these together real quick. And 
then what you want to do is you're going to want to measure from the bottom 14 feet, 14 inches, I apologize, 14 inches. And that's where you're going to be placing uh, the additional piece of wood. Okay? So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Measure here. 14. Measure here. 14 and a half. Basically, voila. Go ahead and staple this one in. got the left and the right armrest and uh, what I'm going to go ahead go ahead and do now is I'm going to go through everywhere that I put a brow nail in and put in two and a half inch screws across all of it just to make sure it's 100% sturdy the brow nail is there just to hold it in place which makes it a lot easier to go ahead and put in those screws afterwards all right so Coming back here to, we have the bottom frame of the couch and we have the side rails, right? The armrest, the left and the right. And we're going to go ahead and go ahead and just <clears throat> put it flush, right? To the armrest. And you want to make sure it's nice and flush. I'm going to brad nail this one in. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So what I'm going to have to do here in this case, because I want to make sure that it's nice and level, I'm going to go ahead and get a leveling, a leveling ruler. do it by yourself so you have some help it's always nice to have that and as you see here it's pretty well leveled overall all right so we went ahead and um, went ahead and added the armrests on there everything is perfectly leveled like I said if you have a second set of hands, it, it, it helps a lot than trying to do this by yourself. It's the most difficult part of the project overall. And now what we're going to do is we're going to lay out six boards across, okay? And then you can just eye it, spacing on it, unless you know you want to go ahead and use a piece of wood to kind of space it out however it is you like. At the end of it, you're going to have to sand it all just to make sure it's all nice and smooth and you don't see any of the stamping on the wood itself like you see here. I'm going to lay out six for the seating part. You 
Okay, and if it's a little bit too big, you know, you can always size it down, sand it a little bit so it's nice and snuggled. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and space these out, screw them in, and I'll be right back with more. Okay, so got all the screws in for the bench, uh, outdoor sofa. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the final piece now, which is a piece of wood that actually finishes it, currently right here, right? But before I go ahead and add this, uh, what I went ahead is I pre-drilled some uh, jig holes in here. So uh, as you see, it's a nice finish, okay? And what I mean by that is that, not sure if you have one of these tools or not, but it's definitely worth it when you're building uh, furniture or if you want to go ahead and hide your screws, okay? And you can get yourself like a kit like this, which comes with all the sizes, uh, one inch, one and a quarter, one and a half, and so on. Good kit for you to have if you're going to be building different types of furniture or whatnot. So if you can see the inside. I went ahead and bought this on Amazon. So if you want to have all the additional sizes or whatnot. But it does make it easier instead of having to go back to Home Depot and not knowing exactly what size you need. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this in. I'm gonna have some help here from my my friend Miguel. Gonna give me a hand here so we can go ahead and hold that. Get this side first. And then if you want, you can do the little level just to make sure everything's aligned properly. Okay, it's pretty well aligned. And that's pretty much it. And you're pretty much done with the back of the sofa. At this point, you can either go ahead and order, you know, your cushions and all that stuff online, or you can eventually make your own. It's really up to you, but that comes, that's the conclusion of how to build an outdoor sofa. So go ahead and now uh, please subscribe to our channel, The Vera Projects, and uh, every couple weeks or every month, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll build a new project and show you how we did it. There was one a uh, few wanted to go ahead and show you how the finished product looks like. As you can see here, I actually built two outdoor sofas with the two by fours. And I also built a sectional with the same instructions. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and include these You can see the overall finished product. Looks very clean. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and at least see the finished product. And like I said previously, if you want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, it'll be amazing. And <clears throat> we'll continue to go ahead and uh, build some additional projects. Have a good one.